Hi guys! <laughs> welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to the family guys. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. So, I'm going to dive right into the reading and see what's going on. So remember to put yourself where you belong. These are timeless, general, and collective readings. So they may or may not resonate from start to finish. You know your story best. Put yourself where you belong. Ancestors, spirit guides of the highest white light. I call you into my beautiful space and I ask for a clear, precise channel message. I need to get my torch because that lighter sucks. <laughs> oh, anyways, <laughs> close any other door other than the highest white light, my beautiful collective. Let's tap in. Ancestors have our back. Protect us. Well, I guide us in this message now. I got a bunch of oracle messages here because we're going to dig in. So let's see what the overall energy is with the messages here. And then I'm going to dig in to the tarot. We're going to clarify this. And we're going to get into the juice if we have time. So stay tuned to the end. If you're new, we would love you to join the Soul Tribe. So hit the like button, hit the subscribe, hit the bell icon in the corner. Hit subscribe, of course. And you will get notified when I post new content. Okay, guys? Ancestors, what's going on here? Okay, so door to spirit and thinking man. So somebody is definitely thinking right now how they can open this door to spirit. Okay? And it's to bring balance. Now, there is angels helping you to bring balance to a situation, and somebody is really thinking. This is why I wanted to just show the cards, because cards are very important. I want you to see the story. Okay, guys? So, somebody is opening up the door to value. This could be you, okay? The door to spirit, and the angels are helping you. And there's somebody thinking about you. Could be a man. Could be a woman. It looks and feels like a man, guys. They want some new beginnings to happen okay so let's get the overall energy okay so journey somebody wants to go on a journey with you it says do things in a different way take a new route believe life is only part of one long journey and be prepared for adventure so somebody wants you to be prepared for adventure okay you might want to pack a bag just like manifest it right manifest somebody is like this this new beginning okay so pack a bag <laughs> be ready at a spare of a moment for something it's time to surrender so somebody's about to surrender or you, somebody wants you to surrender bottom of the deck it's naked so somebody wants you to surrender wants you to be naked wants you to it says do do you feel exposed or outed in some kind of way what is making you feel inadequate guilty ashamed or vulnerable and do you need what do you need to release so somebody may be releasing some kind of outdated belief systems their angels are helping them to be raw real authentic and surrender it's helping you my beautiful collective to be raw real and, and just surrender it says let go of the external the internal and external struggles in your life. Give up the fight to control others and situations and replenish your need to be right and surrender to the higher power. So somebody may be surrendering their need to be right all the time. Yeah. Somebody knows that once they surrender, they'll be able to open this door to spirit, connect with themselves and go on this new journey. But they have to be raw. They have to be real. They have to be themselves. Okay, so let's get the manifestation moonology cards and see what's going on. It says take a reality check. Okay, so somebody's taking a reality check because you, you're being proud of yourself because nothing is going to come of a situation and you know it. Somebody knows nothing is going to come of a situation that they're in or that you're in. Take it as it resonates, past, present. It is what it is, guys. So you get, take somebody's getting a reality check. And they see that you're very proud of yourself. Now, somebody needs to be proud of themselves because they have conquered something that a lot of other people would not have been able to, okay? So, ancestors, one, okay, there it is. Now, show the world the real you. It says, talk less and feel more. So, somebody wants you to just feel. Somebody needs to feel. Be quiet and feel. <laughs> okay? It's because... It's time to show the world the real you and take a deep breather. That's clarification. Okay? It's time to, to show the world the real you. You could be an Aquarius. You could be a Cancer. You could be a Taurus. You could be a Capricorn. Or you could be a Pisces. 
or somebody else is one of these. Take it as it resonates, guys. But somebody's getting a reality check and they're very proud of you. Very proud of you because you were able to show the world the real you and rebel the fuck out. Let's grab these rebel cards and see what's going on and then we're gonna clarify this. I'm gonna get the overall energy first. Ancestors, rebel deck, what's going on here? Yeah, you took a breather and you had a big, bold vision for yourself. 15 reduced down to a six. So you decided to go with love. And what you want, um, the word wants to be written. So you chose to speak your life into existence. You chose to be honest with yourself and get yourself out of some kind of purgatory, prison of the mind. And you did that by just being bold and speaking your truth. You did things that other people refused to do. And what you want wants you. I did say that when I grabbed that, didn't I? <laughs> the ancestors. What you want wants you. Okay? So somebody is grateful that you are being authentic because your light is allowing them to come in. Your authenticity. Collaborative dreaming. See what I mean? Your authenticity is allowing the right people to come in to collaborate with you. So if you feel like things are at a little bit of a stalemate or have been at a little bit of a stalemate, it's only for you to see who needs to come with you on this next journey and who shouldn't. Because look, spiral of manifestations, you have these beautiful manifestations coming in. And this man, this thinking man is really, because 18 reduces down to a nine. So this thinking man is, how can I end a situation so that I can start to collaborate with somebody and speak my world into existence? Because whatever they're dreaming, feeling, wants to be spoken. So they want to speak it out. You want to speak something out. And what you want, wants you as well. So it's about making that bold step forward, okay? So let's get the overall energy, Major Arcana, Ancestors, what's going on here? Wow, you see that? Something's about to blow up. <laughs> there, something is about to blow right up. And you're okay with that. Because, you know, shit has to get a little bit messy before it gets clean. That's just how it goes, guys. Yeah, see, because you're the temperance angel. There is balance coming in, and, and that's what's going to blow up a lot of people's lives. Because they didn't want you to have this reconciliation or just be seen as a temperance angel. You are valuable. This is why you have the daughter spirit there, and it's the death. There's major transformations, guys, major transformations, and somebody is feeling like they've missed out on an opportunity to go on this journey because they tried to assassinate a temperance angel. <sighs> you have the magic in you. You are magic, so let's get these magic cards. And let's see what's going on here. Ancestors. Yeah, you're going on a voyage. You definitely are going on a voyage. It says you're ready. Uh, you already have all the answers. So somebody may see you as a mermaid. <laughs> almost nearly untouchable. But you have this map. Somebody has a map. They know how to get to you. They know how to treat you. They know what it is, where they want to go. You know where you want to go. As the temperance angel, you know exactly where you want to go. And it's sore. It says make the change. Somebody is making the change because they know where they want to go. They got the map. They, they're, they're mapping it out. They're planning. Bottom of the deck. It's villain. You can always rewrite the story. I'm telling you, somebody may have seen you as a villain, but you can always rewrite the story. You don't look at somebody as a villain. Lavender, surround yourself with love. You see somebody as love. Somebody sees you as love. They don't see you as a villain. No, no, no. But somebody may have tried to assassinate your character to make you look like a villain. But you're not the villain. There is no fucking victims here, guys. Tree, let them go. You chose to let somebody go. And, well, <laughs> let's just say things are going up in a blaze at the moment. Because you are free from these villain-like energies. And you have changed your perspective, which has a lot of people 
who wanted you to stay stuck or, or you know, really melancholy about a situation, really upset. Um, and not wanting somebody to be around you because of some kind of distortion in the back, upset. Because you're the redirecting your thoughts. Do you see what I mean? I don't make it up. My ancestors are always on point. Can you see this? these cards? It's so bright. I don't even know if you can see these cards. <laughs> Anyways. You understand, okay? So focus on what you want to attract in this relationship, not on what you fear will happen. See what I mean? How I'm like, oh, it's budget that you don't see it, right? Well, don't pay attention to that because we attract what we want. So never mind the fear. Redirect your thoughts. And that's what you're choosing to do. Redirect your thoughts. And it's got somebody very upset. A lot of people, I told you it's like that, blow up. <laughs> Something's blowing up because there was a lot of people who were overthinking. Oh, can you see it? Anyways, it's there, guys. <laughs> Someone's overthinking. Says playing negative scenarios in your head, creating issues which weren't there at first. So somebody is choosing not to be overthinking and just to go for it, just to execute the situation and bring balance, temperance, angel. I'm telling you, it says... There needs to be a healthy balance of physical, emotional, and spiritual intimacy for a relationship to be sustainable. Exactly. So somebody is bringing in balance. They have the map. They know exactly how to treat you, and they know what they need to do. And actions speak louder than words. Guys, I don't make it up. It says, if you want to know what someone is feeling, watch what they are doing. So somebody's been watching what you've been doing, and it says, take back your power. They've been watching you take back your power. And they want to take back their power. There's an external energy. You may know this person. You may not know this person. But it's like this person is changing. Not for you, but for them. And letting go. And it's only because you have chose to let go. It says you are giving someone control over how you feel. Your happiness should only depend on you. So you're showing somebody that... Happiness depends on us only, and we are only responsible for ourselves and what we think, so we need to balance out our energies and make sure the people that are in our lives aren't fucking chemically imbalanced or they're going to make us feel like crazy. You see what I mean? Very frustrated. So we need to eliminate those things so we can live heaven on earth, and it is fucking possible, guys, but sometimes we got to surrender and be by ourselves for a little while. You know what I mean? But... There's major transformation in that solitude. And somebody's really thinking, like, you are who you are. You're naked to the truth. You're showing the world the real you, and you have no shame. None whatsoever, which is beautiful, guys. This is where the protection comes in. This is how you were able to get out, because you were able to just be honest with yourself, be proud of yourself for all your accomplishments. And it's got a lot of people in a having a little bit of a reality check because they really didn't see you as accomplishing anything, honestly. But <sighs> these people should talk less and feel more because if they would do that, then they would see that, you know, we're all valuable. Why they seen you as unvaluable is beyond me because you're, you're epic. Your energy is just undeniable. Ancestors, let's see what's going on here. See what I mean? The Empress? You see what I mean? Your energy is just undeniable, Empress. You're the divine feminine. You're sensual. You're beautiful. You, you're an amazing mother. You're nurturing. You're very creative. So everything you touch turns to gold. It's that beauty, guys. So stand on that ten toes down. You are who you are, guys. And somebody's thinking about it. And sees that you are a major manifester. And if they want to collaborate with you, they're going to have to come in with the seven of wands, protection. And it is somebody from your past, somebody who you have nostalgic energy with, some kind of uh, feelings of love. This person looks at you like you're worth fighting for. Somebody wants to make a stand, is waiting to face you and ex externals head on. They're not about to back down. The haters are going to hate, but it's only because you are liberated. There's two eagles, and the eagles, they mate for life. Somebody looks at you as tender, sweet. Every time they're around you, it's like they tap into this innocence, this inner child. You have so many sacred shared moments with this soulmate and somebody is coming in to protect you. That's the only way they know. They have the map. The only way is to protect the empress at all costs. 
fight for the empress and you're worth it because somebody's been watching you and they've been overthinking for a while because of this magic see it's sideways because somebody has been trying to do magic over you manipulation but <sighs> my lord somebody it's like they <sighs> somebody's clouded judgment you know their jaded energy got them stuck okay so somebody's been doing a lot of dark energy work in the background and this is why they're overthinking because of the high priestess in reverse it's the high priestess in reverse with the magician in reverse guys there was a masculine and a feminine or two feminines or two masculines take it as it resonates guys there was a group a couple that tried to go up against you to use magic and manipulation to disconnect you so you'd be withdrawn and suppress your intuition there's a lot of secrets and all that secrets are coming out i'm telling you whoever kept a lot in the dark and we're playing in the shadow people are the ones who are upset because you're still going to get equilibrium you deserve what you deserve what's yours is what's yours and what wants you i mean what you want wants you so these people could really just you know stick it where the sun don't shine because that's where they're gonna go and they're pissed the fuck off with the knight of swords because you ain't paying them no motherfucking mind you don't care these people are out of your depths okay like they they can't touch you da, 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 da. okay so they're stressed the fuck out they feel like they missed out on an opportunity and they probably did but that has nothing to do with you hierophant you stood in your power with integrity morals you are the leader and you want somebody who's going to lead you you want a, a marriage value faith you are waiting for this and this is what somebody knows and somebody can't stop it you have reprogrammed your mind you aren't conforming and somebody wanted you to conform you will conform you will be submissive to somebody who deserves it what is this card four of coins and somebody's four of somebody's attached to you because of some i don't know they look at you like a possession like you're theirs like you belong to them so they're going to protect you and this is why somebody's upset because the magic and manipulation didn't work you might not know this person but when they come in they're going to definitely take care of you and in the empress card she's pregnant so if you're in childbearing years and you don't want to get pregnant wrap it up okay because you're going to get pregnant you're very fertile it's because you're beautiful so it could even be like a creation a job something you're very fertile what is this yeah it's the hangman you see things in a new perspective and somebody from your past is really thinking in hermit mode looking at things in a new perspective and they know that it was a queen of coins in reverse who is doing a lot of magic and manipulation to get somebody's money somebody is a gold digger and they thought that you were the one who had lack of ambition and you were like manipulating them but that wasn't the truth it was somebody very close to them so they had to focus on themselves and see who the jealous one was you weren't the jealous one you walked away if you were so fucking jealous you'd be chasing and shit you you took your power back you ain't doing that see you got the strength you ain't doing all that you don't chase if somebody wants something to go towards it that's why you had the power to overcome this fucking inner critic or this external energy that clearly was in competition with you either way you still were able to defeat them because you have invisible forces that take care of you you are always protected you're the earth angel and you can uh, calm this inner lion or the external lion guys you are fucking the queen of swords see you take no bullshit <laughs> you're the not no nonsense you're mentally emotionally and spiritually strong it is what it is you're sharp you're witty you're realistic you're direct and you have this inner strength that just it's like you're quick-witted. Nobody can get one up on you. And you kind of spill your own tea. That's why the death is in reverse. Somebody doesn't want a transformation. Well, what it comes down to is somebody doesn't want an ending. Doesn't want something to end. It's the four of swords. Somebody wants to heal with you from this near-death experience. They don't care what the fuck happened. They are coming in. Somebody's coming in. They feel that their material... Um, Material worth is attached to this divine relationship. 
But because somebody tried to interfere and do hexes and magic on the real divine feminine, they have lost everything. So in order to get back something, they're going to try to get you in some kind of contract or something. But you're going to be okay with this. You've already been collaborating with somebody in the 5D. So it's just coming into the 3D. So like I said, you may or may not know this person, but you have, look, going beyond normal. You have already had this epiphany, this idea, this clarification. And this spiral manifestation is coming in. So this person has already had the clarification as well. And they know this is coming in. So let's go down the rabbit hole, see what's going on. Yeah, so somebody is becoming braver so that they can take this new leap of faith. They see you as very resilient, my beautiful collective. Your experience shown that you have grown stronger and you have a new fresh perspective and so does this other ego. So somebody is just like you. Same heart, everything. But they were drinking the poison. Clearly it's in reverse. So they're no longer drinking the poison, the haterade, the what other people think or you know, whatever. It says, do not do things you know are bad for you. So somebody knows better and now is trying to do better. Because you can't go back to yesterday. Be in the present moment. You're forgiving. You may not forget, but it doesn't matter. We all go through some experiences. Some of us grow up a lot faster and some of us stay much in this mortality. Somebody knows that life is brief, bright, beautiful, and yours to live. Okay, life is short. Live it. Love people who love you. Okay, and take that leap of faith. Somebody is physically, emotionally, mentally abusing you. Could even be some kind of negative karmic connection around you that's causing you a lot of toxicities to keep you codependent in a mental agony. So you need to eliminate that so you can go towards what you want because life is short, okay? You don't want to wake up one day and be in so much regret because you didn't take your power back. It's clock time, look, time, pressure, in a rush. Somebody feels like they're in a rush, but the you know, time is like, it, it doesn't matter. Like time is an illusion, but don't waste your time. Do you see what I mean? So I wonder what will happen next. Ready for adventure, a precipice of change, pause before action. Like I said, pack your bag, okay? Something's gonna happen. Somebody's just gonna knock on your door and say, let's go. And you're gonna be like, uh, all right. Yep, it's just going to be that fucking easy. <laughs> Look, release. So you got to release that fear, okay? There's no victims here. Okay, so may you lay down your burdens. It's time to lay down your burdens. You're ready to release and bring something in, and that's love. So love is liberating. Love is not binding. And you have to trust because some this love is going to have a lot of things blow up, guys. <laughs> People don't want this love to come in. This new beginning. They do not want this new beginning to happen. But somebody's reflecting and get into new beginning. It says new adventures await. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. And reflection. Give each other some space at the moment and trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. Exactly, guys. What you want, want you. Have that big bold vision and go towards it. The word wants to be spoken and written, so speak it into existence. But it's about trust. I don't make it up. The ancestors do. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. There you go, guys. You just need to release whatever burdens you are carrying. So let's get down into the hermit tarot. So somebody sees you as the light. I was blinded by the light. I woke up. <laughs> oh, my Lord. It says, your family won't like me. So who cares? I bet you your family don't even like you. So, oh well. Somebody's family's not gonna like you. Maybe your family's not gonna like this person. Maybe you have history with this person and these people need to mind the motherfucking business. <sighs> Take it as it resonates. <laughs> but either way, you're starting something new and your family's not gonna like you because of all the passion you have because they have no passion in their relationship. People are jealous of your sex life or the sex life that you're gonna have or had. Take it as it resonates. Heart of the deck. Yeah, somebody is, has a very jealous personality and they're jealous of your light. They're jealous of who you are. They're jealous that you help people get out of the darkness. Somebody's terrified of your light. But it's in reverse, so they're not scared of you. Somebody 
somebody's not your light doesn't irritate somebody's demons it actually like uh fires them up they love your spice it actually you know makes them very sexually attracted to you it says happiness is my priority somebody knows that happiness is your priority and if uh they're not happy internally they're never going to be able to make you happy so somebody's checking themselves before they wreck themselves because somebody's stuck in that old school energy outdated thinking conditioning replaying events over in their head so in order for them to come in with some confidence they're gonna have to let that go because it's time to rise from the ashes you are a phoenix ashes a uh, phoenix <laughs> you are a phoenix phoenix rising from the ashes you got a new phase you're rekindling renewing growth change of your mind rising from the ashes guys this is beautiful and somebody really didn't want you to rise from the ashes, but you are. And it's because somebody tried to sabotage you, but it's in reverse. They can't fucking sabotage you anymore, guys. Somebody did not want you to repair a relationship, a partnership, a friendship, or just your life in general. But look, somebody's fucking wearing a poker face. They're trying, they're, they want to take a chance, okay? But they took a risk in the past because of their many options. They weren't showing their hand and they gambled you. Now somebody is feeling upset because what they did was they gambled some kind of relationship or partnership because of their jealousy. So they wanted to sabotage you. Now they're seeing that it was because of their jealousy, because of their passion, because they really do have a lot of passion for you. So now they don't want to sabotage you. Now they want to rekindle something, come out from the ashes with you and get rid of this old school outdated belief system. But maybe you have an old school kind of love, you know, like the romantic kind, you know, like walks in the park and, you know, movies like that old school love. That's the kind of love that you have, that old 60s, 50s kind of love, right? This is the kind of love that's coming in. And you always felt like you were born in a different time. Well, you were. But you were also born with this person in many timelines. And that's where the connection is. So heart of the deck... See, camera, somebody is reminiscing, making memories, learning from the past and perspective. Now, somebody in the past may not have, somebody from your past may not be ready to take accountability for them, their actions. And this is why ancestors are bringing in somebody new for you, because you chose to take back your power. Heart of the deck, crossroads. There's a decision. Somebody didn't want to make a choice, so ancestors are making a choice divine intervention okay so it's time for reflection guys somebody's about to call you they want to hear from you though <laughs> and that's just not gonna happen somebody wants to take you on on a date so if they want to take you on a date they're about to report you they're about to text you you have a secret admirer somebody wants to meet you this is meeting someone new setting a date a date online <sighs> wedding rings Self-worth and value. Somebody sees you so valuable. They want to spend the rest of their life with you. They want to devote their soul to you. And you are going to devote your soul to them. And uh, this karmic twin flame, this false flame who tried to ghost you, who's been chasing you, should I say, is mad. Because they know that you ghosted a real twin flame to chase after a false flame and you're seeing the truth so you've been chasing after a false flame or somebody the person that's coming towards you has been chasing after a false flame because of magic and manipulation now they're seeing the truth that they ghosted the real twin flame yep and this is why they didn't date you they didn't be something i don't know they didn't make the choice anyways now you're getting a message in because there's no love here the strong affection is for somebody else and somebody has been hiding who they are. There's no storm warning for you. Somebody didn't want to change. You're not thinking or missing them. And you're not in regret for what you cho what the, cho the choice you made to walk away. And that's the shock. The sudden change, the shocking news, the transformation, the epiphany. Somebody's getting that you're okay. You're about to go meet new people. Savor the moment. You're feeling elevated and you're building friendships with people and you know who doesn't have unconditional love for you and who isn't willing to give and receive who doesn't have fairness love and who isn't returning to affection 
you're not in that party lifestyle, guys. So if somebody's stuck in that party lifestyle, they can't come and have paradise with you. And somebody does see you as paradise, but they have many options. They're living this unconventional one-night stand in life, string along, and you're not dealing with it. Somebody wants to go on a honeymoon phase with you, but they're scared that you still look at them like a player. because But they're not partying. See? The party is, they're not having fun in whatever they're doing. And they deaded a situation with intimacy, and they're going to break the silence because they want peace. There wasn't a, an, another woman who they had romantic feelings for, but it wasn't really love. That's why they're deading a situation because Cupid's arrow's not striking. Somebody wasn't using their intuition. It was this divine masculine. Now they got clarity and truth and revolution, revelation that it was just lust. It was a sex good time, and it was, the sex wasn't even good. It's in reverse. That's why somebody feels like they have unresolved issues with you, but they didn't keep you safe. So you got a soulmate coming in, and somebody's going to be in a lot of agony because they picked a pick-me. They picked somebody who's not an influencer, but it's like your friend, your family member, somebody who just wanted to be you, a copycat who, kind, who seduced somebody. Now there's no more third parties, guys. Somebody is getting a divorce. Or you got a divorce because of some kind of third party interferences. And that's why somebody's heartbroken. Because they have no inspiration. They gambled their inspiration. You are the, somebody's inspiration. And somebody knows that you're a single mother. Very responsible. And uh, somebody wasn't reading between the lines. Somebody was just with them for money. And this is why some you ended a situation. Somebody's ending a situation. And you're okay with that because there's no abundance. There's none whatsoever in the situation. It's the devil like this. Uh, it's not It's not a good energy, guys. So let's see what which is protecting you, okay? Because you're protecting somebody. Somebody's protecting you in the 3D. I mean, in the 5D, and they're coming in the 3D. So the botanical witch will grow seeds to success. See what I mean? Somebody is a botanist, so they like seeds and stuff. Somebody wants to tap back into that. <sighs> But they need the right people around them, okay? So, it says, the witch of light illuminating the right direction. See, you're the witch of light, and you're illuminating somebody's direction. And their direction is, they want to plant the seed of success with you. It's time for reflection, guys. That's divine timing. Somebody could feel any kind of way they want, but Sunkwai Dizu God Creator is bringing in this beautiful, epic energy but somebody needs to really have like heal from this near-death experience first temptation i mean temptation from the temptation exactly thank you ancestors somebody needs to heal from the temptations somebody could be very weak for karmic shit that's the judgment in reverse see there's somebody maliciously gossiped about you in the background and now they're unwilling to learn the karmic lessons that you are the temperance angel empress. It is what it is. You bring balance and peace to every situation that you're in. So if somebody is doing dirty by you, it's only because you know something that... See, Wheel of Fortune, it's only because they're after your money. It's the devil. The devil will always judge you. But uh, it's game over for the devil. <laughs> it is what it is, guys. You have karma, change, destiny is in your favor. So... These people are just going to be have to watch you on the sidelines is what it comes down to. You're just going to have a lot of fans because justice is coming in. Because judgment is in your favor. These people could judge you all they want, but they're going to have to learn a karmic lesson either way. And they're going to have to stop. Because you're the high priestess in the upright. These people, you see them. They're wasting their fucking talents trying to go up against you because you're safe. And because you're safe, you're going to end up ending them major tragic endings all around the board for them whatever they built on is gonna fall down it's gonna blow up especially when you start loving on somebody who truly loves you you're gonna be able to end situations because true love always wins guys and somebody doesn't want true love to come in for you but your payoff is coming in either way because you had that death and rebirth you deserve to be on the throne Miss Empress, Miss Mr. Emperor, take it as it resonates. You have this beautiful energy. And nobody can deny it anymore. Ancestors. Yes. See, you're clearing the karma. Because as the divine feminine, you're clearing the karma from these people who try to give you bad advice, steer you in the wrong direction. 
You know where you need to go, and you're going to do it. And you're going to think before you act. But somebody is acting before they think. But it may be a good thing, it may be a bad thing. I don't know, but as long as you're following your heart, that's all that matters, because somebody is having a rude awakening. And you may have told somebody that you were just trying to lead them in the right direction so that they can start feeding their own soul, planting those seeds of of encouragement and hope inside of somebody, but they treated you like crap. The Witch of Connection, it says hope, helping you open yourself. See, they didn't do that. They didn't have a connection with you. They were very surface level. They didn't help to open you. They didn't open themselves up to you. Instead, they took some kind of bad advice about you. And now they're clearing the karma and reflecting that you are the light. You have always wanted the best for them. See? You've always wanted, you've always had hope for them. You've always had hope for a lot of people. But these people had put poker faces on. Played in your face. Very two-faced, guys. They didn't want to admit what the fuck they were doing in the background. Trying to treat, cheat you the whole time. I'm telling you, somebody was a cheater and they didn't want to admit it. Well, God's going to make them admit it. Because you got upgrades coming in. Because somebody misses you. Because you would install so much into them. You really did help them. And now they can't grow shit because they destroyed the one that helped them. The one that, oh my God, look, and now they're obsessed. You see what happens? They're obsessed because you're free. You're opening your wings up. You don't need wings to fly, guys. You ended a cycle and somebody's watching you. They have a lot of passion for you. They also know why they were being so childish is because they're so addicted to your sex. Guys, you, you, you're not giving it up because you know you're good in the bed. <laughs> that is what it is. You are home to somebody and the secrets are coming out and the doors are opening for you. It's because you got growth. You got, it's wisdom through trial and error. You learned that somebody was trying to do sex magic on you. That's why you're not having sex, and that's why somebody should not have sex either. They need to heal, purify themselves. What you want, want you. You're throwing the world the real you, heart of the deck, and leveling the fuck up, getting the upgrade, guys. Congratulations. I hope this resonates. I hope this gave you some clarity. The devil is addicted to you. There could be somebody who has mental issues, and they're mad because you have somebody who is very devoted to you the dog somebody who's going to be loyal just like you who knows um, the blueprint to how to take care of you child and it's going to fucking feed your inner child who's not going to be very youthful and it's going to bring a lot of passion somebody wants to come in and give you your flowers because you deserve it the bouquet and the lily wow somebody does see you as vital they see you as that like nurturing like everything they need in their life to be happy and yet, yeah, look, the key, you are everything they need in life to be happy. You are the Garden of Eden. You have heaven on earth. Your coochie, <laughs> your wang is heaven on earth to this individual. And that's probably why you're saving yourself. Because look, shit, you're cutting ties, you're moving on, you're receiving what you need, and you're progressing and arriving. Somebody's about to arrive. And look, there's a lot of players with a lot of many options. Somebody may think that you're a player living some kind of unconventional one night stand in life, but you ain't stringing nobody along. That's why you have, you're keeping it tight. <laughs> keeping it, keeping it tight. <laughs> so single, not in a relationship. See? So somebody needs to read between the lines. Look for what's hidden because you're single, you're self-sufficient, and people can say whatever the fuck they want, but you're the dragonfly, lighthearted and adapted. Finding out and change. Things coming to the light and heal. Okay, so I love you guys. Stay blessed. One love. I hope this helped. You are a single parent, but somebody gambled a beautiful life. And they can't send you any messages. They can't. They don't feel this inspiration anymore. And they can't chase you. You don't want a chaser. You want somebody who verbally communicates with you. What the fuck? Yeah, you're not going for no uh, twin flame, uh, false twin flame. If somebody wants to compromise and make the changes, fine. But you see somebody as karmic. Somebody who loves you is going to be polar opposite to you. There's going to be a union and it's going to be duality. They're not going to have to chase you and you're not going to have to chase them. Mirroring each other. Self-reflection, inner wounds. So somebody is, you know, reflecting on their own inner wounds. And it's a select, uh, um, Celestial witch reminding you that you are everything you already know. And rain witch providing sudden yet refreshing change. So like a while ago, 
the umbrella. Allow the rain to purify you, okay? And allow somebody to come underneath your umbrella or to get some light from your sun, you know, your this, this beautiful light inside of you. You are on a whole nother level and somebody loves you just for that because you have this home and foundation within yourself and you're going to grow something